The second step to completing your assignment is to find a topic. Now that you have a bit of a background on your text, that's going to help you to reread the original text and note certain characters, symbolism, metaphors, themes, motifs, and whatever that are going to be important to, you know, helping explain some of those background questions. Um, and then to pick a topic, you're going to want to connect the ideas. Please keep in mind, very important, when you're analyzing literature, there's not a right or wrong answer. It's more that there are only good answers that you can support with the original text, historical context, and biographical information. Focus on that. So in my example, we're going to continue with the Edward Taylor's house housewifery. Looking over my original text, um, I'm going to take a look at, you know, some of those themes and motifs. Um, I see there's a the theme of making and cleaning clothes, which almost sounds like he's trying to connect with a female audience. Um, but when I read my biographical information, um, it kind of told me that Taylor kept his poems private. So that doesn't really support my idea that the audience is female. Um, then I started thinking maybe the clothing theme connects with colonists daily life. And that would certainly include making and mending your own clothing. Uh, Taylor did mention uh, that the colonies were a howling wilderness, um, which would mean that life is kind of primitive. Um, you have to make your own clothing. Um, second kind of thing that stood out to me, um, Taylor is a Puritan minister, which connects with the Christian metaphors I see here. Um, the poem is a prayer to God, which also connects to another element of the colonist's daily life, which would be prayer and religion. Um, you know, like Taylor, so from his biography, you know, many colonists came to the colonies as exiles for religious reasons. So I'm starting to see a theme <laughs> here. Uh, my topic could be the theme of colonial daily life that appears in Edward Taylor's housewifery. So sources that would support this topic would include things like historical accounts of daily life of the Massachusetts colonists, uh, maybe information about Edward Taylor's daily life, and literary criticism that either agrees or disagrees with this idea.